Hey there everyone, it's Game Camiller back at you with another video. And today this uh the video I have for you is more or less a companion video to the last one where we looked at Super NES games. Um, five of them that would be great for the Nintendo Switch Online service. Today, though, we're looking at the NES side. Now, the NES side of the Nintendo Switch Online service actually has a quite, quite a bit more games for the service currently compared to the Super NES side. Um, actually has a really nice collection uh, so far of games. Does it have every game it needs? No. Has it trickled a bit? Definitely yes, but uh, today's video we're going to look at five games that I have for you that are more than just the, you know, the, the go-tos. You know, just like last time I said that anything from the NES Classic um, mini console would have been great to add to the, to, to the service. You know, all, most of those games, yeah, they definitely do have their place on the service. But these five games I have for you are maybe games that people haven't thought of, um, or a little bit more of a, I wouldn't say a deeper cut, but a little bit more than just the ones that easily come to mind. So let's take a look today. First up today, I have for you The Guardian Legend. Now this is a game that basically takes Legend of Zelda and combines it to shoot em up. I know, it's a pretty crazy concept, but it works. The Guardian Legend is actually one of my favorite games as a kid. It's actually one of my favorite NES games, period. It, it, it's not perfect, but it's just a neat enough concept. and. It makes me a little sad that there's so many that actually don't even know about this game um, and, and its concept. So, I, I don't want to use the term hidden gem, but when I think about the NES Switch Online service and its potential, having a game like this that is obviously still overlooked uh, among a lot of people who know about the NES bring this forward having this come to the service oh my goodness and not only that we wouldn't have to deal with those awful passwords before yeah so unlike um a lot unlike some nes games that allowed you to save to the cartridge the garden legend actually made use of these awful long passwords so for the ability to save save states and, and that with the game, I would be just that would improve the game greatly. But yeah, the Guardian Legend is a awesome game and worthy of coming back into the limelight of the NES Classic Switch Online service. The NES was lucky enough that when it came to licensed games, quite a few of them were actually pretty decent, and with some of them being really, really good. Batman for the NES was one of them. Just like Guardian Legend, Batman for the NES is actually one of my all-time favorite NES games. The gameplay for the game is just so spot on. It is a bit of a challenging game later on in, in the levels, but you want to keep at it and at it. So I, I know for the, the NES Switch Online service, there really isn't too many licensed games or anything of that sort, honestly. But if they could somehow work it out between Sunsoft, you know, Warner Brothers with the, the, the Batman license, DC Comics, this would be an awesome game to... And not only that, for people who've never played this one before, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is, this is, when it comes to Batman games, this is definitely one of the best classic Batman games. So hopefully... Hopefully, somehow, we will see this come to the service. Just like the last list I had for you, uh, where I mentioned a few import games, one import game that should come to the NES Switch Online service is Joy Mech Fight. Now, in Japan, it's already available for the Famicom side. Um, it is actually published by Nintendo, completely owned by Nintendo. So, when it comes to import games, this is definitely one that they already have ready. Already ready for the service. All they have to do is just release it. Joy Mech Fight is one of the few fighting games 
for the system. And when it comes to the NES, let's let's be frank, fighting games are there's a reason why there wasn't really fighting games on the system with only two buttons and a D-pad and a start and select. There isn't too much you can do, but with Joy Mech Fight, somehow Nintendo made it work. This also would be a great multiplayer title for the service. Um, just like in the last video for the Super NES side, I think multiplayer is a very important part that they need to continue to add to the service. One of my favorite things is the fact that I can play with somebody online in a multiplayer classic game. And Joy Mac Fight is a fun game. It's, it's a fighting game that you didn't think would work for the system, but once you play it, it works. Nintendo has magic. <laughs> This is a game, though, uh, has never really been released in the U.S. Not that I'm aware of. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, at least, you know, when it came to classic services. This is a game that it just needs to come over. It would be a great game to to hype up. We got Panel de Pong, a game that people wanted for years to come out. And that came out for the Super NES side. So... But hey, Nintendo, make it happen. Joy Mech Fight, let's bring that over. It's an easy, you already got it on the Famicom side in Japan. Let's do it, bring that one over. It'll be fun. Now, Little Samson is probably more well known for the price it brings nowadays. It's a, it's a very expensive game to get a hold of. But even though it's a very expensive game, it's also a very good game. It's a game that I would like to see come to the service, you know, when it comes to, you know, it's easy to put on the very common games, but let's see some games that are really hard to get a hold of, you know, imports be one of them, you know, for, for people who've never played, but something like this, Little Samson is a very awesome game. You go through, you actually play as different characters as you go through the game. Um, play as a person, you can climb on walls, you can play as a golem, you can play as a dragon, and they all have their own different abilities. It's actually a very, very well put together game, uh, NES game, and you know, more than just a one trick pony. This would be a game that I I think that if people got exposed to it through the, the NES Switch Online service, this would be, uh, quickly become one of their favorite games to play. And, you know, between the multiplayer experiences and... and What makes the Switch Online service so... Potentially so different from just doing a virtual console is the fact that you can expose people to, to games they never ex experienced before. Or maybe get them reacquainted with titles that they haven't thought about playing before very easy without actually you know paying any more than they have like like we talked about Bomberman in the last video so hopefully maybe hopefully we can see this again I don't know why this game honestly has never been re-released at some point I know that a lot of people who played it love it but uh let's hope that maybe one day somehow this this comes out and we get to experience it um Again, or for mo most people, experience it for the very first time. The last game I recommend that hopefully they can add to the, the NES side of the Switch Online service is Turtle, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game for the NES. This game, this game is childhood to me. Yeah, it... Between 2 and 3, I don't know which one I like more, but... 2 would be a great one to add to the service. It seems like more people like this this one. Again, another great one for 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 the just to tout that online part. Could you imagine if they put this on there? You know, just I would play this all the time. Um, it, it's just it, I I just have good memories as a kid playing this with my with my friends just hanging out at the house trying to beat the game uh, as two player people this is a game that is still worth experiencing today and just like I said in the last video and when it comes to like turtles and time um, 
licensing can be a pain to try to get this over. Um, I, I know that Nickelodeon owns a big chunk of the Turtles nowadays, and I know you know you have to work it out with Konami, and then you know, obviously Nintendo. But this is one of those games that beat 'em. This is a solid beat 'em up game for the system. This is the games that I think, and, and the same goes to the rest of this list. This is the games that I think the Nintendo, if they really, if they're going to, again, make it where there isn't a lot of games coming out, if you're only going to give us a few games each month, make them really solid titles. Make them count. Make Go after those games that, that will make the service really stand out, you know, really stand above. So hopefully, hopefully within these next few months that we'll see some of these games get added to the service. Um, hopefully we see that either, you know, one or the other give us more games or give us really quality titles. To be honest, give us really quality titles. Um, is my vote. I'd, I'd rather have less and really good solid stuff than a lot of like cruddy stuff. But that's just me. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, dislike it. Um, leave a comment down below. I want to know what NES games you want to see added to the service. Put that down in the comments below. I also uh, stream on Twitch five days a week, off Mondays and Thursdays. Links are in the description below. You can contact me. But with that said, guys, you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you next time.